I just don't know why, and I'm not bringing it up. You but are I just don't know why yes. we fought last year. Okay, well, we didn't fight. I was just saying my opinion on it. I'm allowed to say my you're not opinion. Not just saying your opinion when you're saying, saying something extremely negative. I was just saying my opinion on your wife, guys, 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 mom. Okay, mom. I'm allowed to say my opinion. He's a little I'm, bitch. I don't want this to be a fight. Thanksgiving, so you can avoid it by not bringing up the things that you always bring up. I'm allowed to have, okay, oh, oh, I hurt your feelings. Well, you know what? I've always told you, I'm gonna say what I have to say, no matter how hard it is. That is not a good policy. You can't just say whatever you want, especially if it's a controlled, it's it's a veiled attempt to control us, and we're both 30-year-old adults. You don't have to give us- 30. Yes, we're 30, and that means that you're what? Older. Mom, mom, mom. What is it, Madeline? Just say it. First of all, you guys are all coming from an extremely negative space, but from my sociological standpoint, Danny should not have to face unsolicited, constant criticism for you. And if he does, then he has every right to spend less time with you. And with me, by extension. Okay. Well, maybe I don't need this kind of unkindness. Yes, you you were. You were being unkind, okay? You hurt my feelings. You always hurt my feelings. Would you like for us to go, honey? Yes, I would. Oh, my God. Kicking us out. Nobody is kicking you out. You are kicking us out, okay? And what I have to say about this is you need to turn that car in for an older model. You spent all of your money on a brand new Fiat. You're insane. It's insanity, okay? So that's what I've not been saying. So then in the future, you know that I know how to hold my tongue. You should try to talk to your friend Jim about finances, talk okay? To Jim. What is this relationship you have with Jim? You're obsessed with Jim. I'm never going to be Jim. Jim knows how to deal with money. You don't. Let's go, honey. Where are my keys? I got them. Let's go to Marie Calendars. Right behind you. That is just. Wish we had some boyfriends to eat this food with. Yeah, me too. One of these days, we're gonna have some boyfriends. One of these days, we're gonna have some boyfriends. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Mmm. You wanna drive up to Mulholland and go overlook the city? Yeah, although I never know how to get there. It's this way, but, uh, I forget where we One of these days, we're gonna know what all this is about. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Hey! Hi. Hi. <clears throat> all right, you ready for today's riddle? Yes, Burton, we are. One night, a king and a queen walk into a castle. Who walked in with the king and queen? That's a good one. I know it is. I wrote it. One night, a king and a queen walked into the castle. Who walked in with the king and the queen? The castle? Who walked in with the king and the queen into the castle? You're already mad? I mean, it's a pretty simple riddle. Yeah. Are you having a rough day today? Yeah, I am having a rough day. Everybody quit. And so I have to do the whole holiday shift by myself. Can you imagine? Oh, my God. Yeah. Then I had to buy myself my own Christmas presents. Oh, where'd you go? I bought myself an earthquake kit. Fantastic. Well, we'll think about it. Uh, what if, if we guess it? Um, what do we get if we guess it? What do we it? get? We got the one lo- last week. Hi. So are you working Christmas Eve? I'm working Christmas Eve. I'm working Christmas. I'm working the, the day after Christmas. I'm working the day after that Christmas. And I'm working New Year's Eve. And I'm working New Year's Day. Why? What do you care? Do you need, do you need me for something? Not that we know of. All right. Well, if you figure out this uh, riddle, I'll give you 15% off your meal. Okay, I'll do that for you for the holidays. That's an upgrade. Thank you. That You're is welcome. An upgrade. And remember, I love my riddles. I'll see you soon. Let me know when you figure it out. One night, a king and a queen walk into a castle. Who is with, with them? the king and the queen? Who's with the king and the queen? Who's with the king and the queen? The castle. I'm mean, thinking about this stuff with mom and dad. How we haven't seen them, and I think that they just fundamentally don't get us anymore. Like there's this this divide, this disconnect. I, I, I can't connect with them. I don't even want to spend Christmas with yeah, them. Yeah, me either, yeah. The vibe is very like, oh, we've given you so much, and now we get to control you. Right, it's offensive. Let's just spend Christmas just me and you this year. Fuck them. Great. Yeah. 
yeah, we'll just be like, we don't need your presence and we have our own lives. So yeah. we'll just, that's good. We'll just give each other presents. Yeah, if you want to push us away, we'll pu be push ourselves away. Um, yeah, I just feel like I want a lover to cuddle with or something. Yeah. Like we're 30. We need like lovers. I want a beach cop. Beach cop? You know, it's like the, the cops that patrol around the beach and they're like, hey, hey, you guys can't drink around here. You can't bring glass around here. And they're always like checking your IDs and giving you tiny tickets. They're always like patrolling around the beach. They're always going, hey, hey guys, sorry to knock up the party, but you can't have glass and you can't drink. Let oh. me check your ID. Mm. I mean, just spend Christmas with someone like that would be really great. Yeah, I have a similar fantasy about like a hot homeless guy. You know, those like tent communities and like, you know, you kind of walk by them and then every once in a while you see somebody in them and you're like, what is up? Sure, yeah. One of those guys, dirty, wow. no showers. That would be great. It's just the smell, the smells would be good. You know, I've never had that, but I understand maybe where you're coming from. Mm. Wow, that would be great. They also call them crusty. There are people now that choose to be homeless called crusty punks. I think that would be hot. Is that real? Crusty punks? Yeah, it's a real term. It's like, uh, yeah, a lot of them live in tents. You know, I think those people poop in some of those tents. To me, in a way, that sounds freeing, you know? It's like, I've, I've, I've felt so trapped in my life lately. I was supposed to do something. I was supposed to be like a leader. There was this idea that there was something more, and now I'm just a bouncer, you know? I'm not who I intended to be. I wanted to be a leader. That's what I'm good at. I'm, I'm good at leading people into a better... You are. Life. Yeah, yeah, you're telling me. I got that sociology major. I don't, I haven't done shit with that. I'm making Christmas cards for people. That's all I'm doing. Mm. I mean, remember when we were kids, <laughs> we wanted to explore and we were adventuring all the time. Back before internet didn't even, it was like just starting up. Yeah. So we were like, you know, like, shouldn't we have that same sort of feel right now? Yeah. Where we're like, oh, there's no internet. And now we have to. Yeah. Adventure. God, sometimes I cannot believe they just got rid of the whole thing. I wake up some mornings and I think I can still check my email. It's been three years. I mean, I feel pretty used to it. Yeah. But I, uh, I miss cell phones. Yeah, cell phones were great. I mean, but Facebook. It was a beautiful thing in retrospect, you know? But I mean, jeez, I was so good at like seeing an argument through it, you know? Everyone's always fighting on there. And Facebook I was always, like, arguments. Tough yeah. enough to I be like, bad, no, 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 I got you. Yeah. I, I know what this is. I wasn't tough. I couldn't hack those comment sections. I would always like try to post like a, an inspirational quote or something to kind of lift the energy, but then somebody would inevitably shoot it down. Like somebody who was like, somehow offended by some part of some thing because they were feeling something less than perfect wherever they were in their, like, troll cave. Right. Well, cheers to a year of more. May we get what we want. Maybe somebody's watching and will grant our little wishes. Oh my god, I feel so much better. I just had an upside down taco. Okay, did you guys figure out um, that riddle? Um, I think it's. Uh, we give up. We didn't figure it out. One night, a king and a queen walked into a castle. Okay. They were with a knight. Oh, uh, that's why you're the best. That's right. You're the best riddle, riddle solver, solver in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, definitely. No. In the country, oh. baby. <laughs> Wait, can we maybe order? Can we order? You want me to drive you? My car is right in that structure. Oh, no, no. I love walking at this time of night. You gonna walk the whole Especially two miles? Especially this time of year. Yeah, I'm a tough girl. girl. Man. I'm a tough girl. I love you. I love you too. Mm, I'll come over to your house tomorrow. Okay. At like noon for Christmas Eve. Okay. We can make a figgy pudding.
remember you and our Christmas brunch plan. We know you guys got mad the last time we all hung out, but just know we're not trying to control you. We just want the best for you and... So I just want to wait, hold on a second. Give me a second, I'm just gonna go to this party. So uh anyway, um yeah, my mom's flying in tomorrow and I wanted to know if I could come over to your house, maybe see some pics of us on your digital camera. <laughs> I know you can't do anything with the pictures, but it might be nice to have them be my mom and look at it next year when she comes. We only need to be one or two shots of Max, I don't want to take too much room with your SD card. <laughs> yeah, I know you only got one, so uh, oh, I think you work at the tree tomorrow, right? Anyway, if you don't, what to do? Uh, you can write to my mom, she'll be in town, and must her like it's canceled or something like that. Anyway, keep me up. Will. Margin. Cheers. Cheers. Jim. Jim. <laughs> Did you get a note? What? Did you get a note? The power's out where you are, right? Uh-huh. Okay, the power's out in the entire city. Do you remember how I majored in economics and I do small business for my family on the side? Yes. Okay, I got a note left on my door with a phone number on it. I called the number. It was your father. He told me that the economy's crashed. What does that mean, the economy's crashed? It means the city, over the next 48 hours, is gonna move into chaos. As people realize that their money, and I mean all their money, has become meaningless. Your dad called to explain it to me because I have a background in economics. Okay, well, yeah, I, I know. He's obsessed with and your- he, he said you haven't been answering his calls. We call him. Yeah, we're calling him. We call him. Your grandmother, not the one on your mother's side, the one on your father's side that you and Madeline have never met, has a substantial sum of gold in Malibu Canyon where she lives in a tent. I'm coming over. Hey, what? sit down. Listen, I checked with my friend at Stanford and he verified it. It checks out, the economy is completely crashing. Nobody knows it yet. Is it because of the internet? Because of the lack of internet, yeah. You know, th they thought they could do without it, and go back to the old way, but the thing is, you can't go backwards. Nope, just tried it, doesn't work. What do you mean? Three years ago, the government took a vote, as we all know, and they decided no internet. Right. See, they wanted to go back to the way it was before, but you can't do that. Just because the internet had gotten so ugly doesn't mean we have the right to get rid of it. It's not such a big deal. We got rid of a thing that we invented ourselves. That's the thing, though. We didn't invent the internet. I would say it's more appropriate to say the internet, like, chose us or arose as an expression of us. Maybe the best way to say it is we are the internet. The internet was us. You're saying that the internet like spontaneously arose from humanity and we can't just delete it without actually eventually, and that eventuality is now, three years later, like b becoming uh, non-functional basically. It's like cutting off part of your body because we didn't invent it, it was just an extension of us and then we got rid of it and now everything is crashing and money is now meaningless. Do you know what happens 
when money loses all value. I mean, I assume it's no, some no. negative, some... You want me to tell you? Yeah. If there's no financial system, there's nothing. But everyone's fine. I mean, why, why isn't everybody, like, looting everybody's houses? There's nobody screaming. Listen, because the government is in on this, okay? They, they, they're very good at keeping people in the dark with these things. It's those gas stations and the solar-powered bullshit that they those feed. Those sun-powered TVs at the gas station? Yes, the solar TVs. The solar TVs. Those things are keeping society at bay. But the truth is, society's ready. It's cracking at the seams. The whole shebang is going to crumble. It's my mommy's cookie crumble, and it's disgusting. Nothing's going to have any value except for water, tits, and fucking gold. So let's go get ourselves some. Hey, do you guys mind if we do a quick pit stop at my house? I just want to pick up like a green juice and a couple jackets in case it gets cold tonight. I also got a bunch of caffeine gear we can use. Okay. Yeah, aren't you worried about time though? It'll only take a second. Sure. Are you out of your mind? Baby, there's something there that's going to be great for us, both of us. And I promise, you know, I'm going to bring it back and it's going to be great. And if there was room in the car, there I would. There actually is room in the car if you want. I don't want to come. Jim! You're gonna go all the way to Malibu when the power is out in the whole city? Look, baby, I promise you, everything's gonna be okay, okay? You know, trust me, I wouldn't go to Malibu Canyon for no reason, so. You can't take the dog. Okay, you're right. Come to Papa, give me a kiss. Uh, I don't know why I'm so in love with you. You know what was great was when we could play, uh music, any music we wanted through the speakers. That was crazy. I always took that for granted. Just any song you want, all the time. Yeah, those were the days. I don't know, I kind of like this better. You can really listen to the ride. Hey, uh, what's the tank at? Half. If we should pull over at this gas station, I hear an end of the world scenario, they give away free gas for the first few hours. But Seems nobody like knows it's you. the end of the world. Yeah, we do. That's the ticket. So we're supposed to tell the gas station attendant? Hey, buddy. Are you guys giving away free gas? Uh, yeah, you know, I would if I could, but it's a citywide mandate to uh, to not let any product go out until electricity's back up. How'd you get a citywide mandate if there's no electricity? Solar TVs. Every station's got one. That's why the city is now in a momentary but critical lockdown of all financial systems. Signal comes from the air. No corded electricity required. Incredible. But wouldn't the station have to be running a lot of electricity to get the signal out? I don't make the rules, ma'am. Don't call me ma'am, and I never said you did. It's really gorgeous. Yeah, I'm sitting on me, I think. No, no. All right, let's cool it. I'll talk to you later. So there's something I haven't told you guys yet. What? What? <laughs> It's something your dad told me. I thought it wasn't a big deal, but now that I think about it, it's a pretty big deal. Okay, out with it. You guys are gonna have to solve a riddle in order to get the money. No. Seriously? Yeah, and it's no. a pretty tough one. Okay, what? what? If my grandmother has the riddle at the end of this? Is it my grandmother? I think Our so. grandmother? I think so. She's got the riddle. This I is ridiculous. I, why can't we have parents who just give us a normal chunk of money when we need help? Instead of parents who are like, no, we're gonna put you through an infinite amount of hoops before you get there. I can't stand this. Uh, well, you could also choose to be into it, like a game. It could be like a game, you not know? I'm not into it. I'm not into it. I'm not into it with our parents screwing with us, is what I'm not into. Okay. It's yeah. a wild goose chase. Where's not cold? There's nothing there. The city's fine. You watch. So, do you guys know any master riddle solvers? I won't do it! Come on, we need you. Everyone's always using me for my riddle solving abilities and I won't have it. I'm not gonna be used as some puppet and then discard it once the power comes back on. Oh, I feel like I'm on Facebook. Don't feel like we're on Facebook. Don't 
Tell me what to feel. It's just a quick trip to Malibu Canyon. You think I believe that? The power's off. There's no power here. You think I can't tell the city's shutting down? Telling me to stay calm. You know what you should do when the people tell you to stay calm? Don't stay calm. Please, Vernon, they say you're the best guy around. And I am. I won the national riddle solving competition when I was nine. And again, when I was 18. I haven't competed since because I don't need to. But if you assume I'm in my mid-20s, which I would like you to do, just know that I'm highly respected from the riddle solving competition I won when I was 18, which was only two years ago. I'm 20. Incredible. Maybe if you told me something other than, oh, you need to solve this riddle and you'll come with us and I'll pay you $20. I said $25. $25. Maybe if I knew what the hell this was about, I would consider it. But you're not telling me anything. And that's on you. He's not a toy. He needs to know what's really going on here. We're going to get $800,000 worth of gold that our grandmother has in a tent in Malibu Canyon to try to survive whatever apocalypse is about to hit. Apocalypse? The financial systems have all broken down. They're trying to keep the people of the city at bay with those solar TVs. They're putting news on them that's telling people to stay calm. I love solar TV. But it's bad. From the time the power went out, the economy was completely over. Money is meaningless. People are gonna start to realize that over the next few hours. And our only hope is to get that gold from Malibu Canyon before we get looted or killed or trampled. Wow. That's powerful. It's just true. Fuck. Our grandmother's in a tent in Malibu Canyon and she's gonna give us a riddle to solve before we can get the gold. Isn't she your grandmother? Shouldn't she just give you the money? That's your money. That's your family money. I don't know. We don't get it either. Wow. What's in it for me? 50. What? A hundred bucks. $50,000 worth of the gold. I do it. Oh shit, I only have like a few miles left on this. What should we, I mean, nobody's giving out. We don't have gas to get there, so. Well, we should try at least one more gas station to see if someone will give us a little pump. Okay, let's try this guy. USA Gas, give me that American dream. Um, do you guys have a little bit of gas to give us? Maybe we can siphon it off? You know what, ma'am? I'm so sorry. There's a citywide mandate two hours ago not to sell any gas. And then, just now, on the TV, they said that nothing in the city should be bought or sold until the power's back on. That's fucking insane. That's like literally admitting to the public that the economy is crashing. Yeah, well, trust me, some kind of economy will arise. But not one that you want to be around for. I don't want to die. May I, uh, ask what a... Pretty lady I like you. I have not received enough gas to put up with you hitting on me. I was hoping you won't be putting up with it. I was hoping you loved me. Uh, I can't love anybody right now. I'm going through something with my parents. Now, are you and your friends going anywhere in particular? We're going to Malibu Canyon. What's in Malibu Canyon? Gold, Gold guys. Gold? All right. How about if I uh, help you guys, you share a little bit with me? Okay. How about $50,000 worth? $50,000? <laughs> okay. I'm helping you. Okay. So you're going to give us some gas? No, the pumps aren't even pumping. They're not allowing us to pump. But what I can do is let you park your car over here indefinitely. And uh, I got a brother who can get us anywhere in the town on foot. Taylor! We're going to Malibu Canyon. It's this way. Come on. You should have seen by the look in my eyes. Something missing You should have known By the tone of my voice Maybe But you didn't listen Dad's lung is fine, all right? Mom's brain is more of a scary situation. All right, don't... Don't put it that way. Then you're making me feel like I gotta pick which one of our parents should die. I mean, I, that's a bummer. I didn't mean to do that, okay? I'm just saying, you know, why don't we just take the money and then put, put it into more money so we get more, and then they get both surgeries. That sounds like a plan. I mean, well, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, so then that's what we do. We get the most money we can, yeah. and then mom gets her brain, and dad gets her lung. His lung. You know what I mean? And maybe we have a little money, uh... I know, a little oh, bit for right. ourselves. Maybe we open up a new gas station. I need to find somewhere to take a dookie. Yeah, I actually have to poop, too. Pretty I bad. tried all the stores up on the street, but they're closed. They told everybody to stay at home. Where am I supposed to poop? In the river? I'll get scurvy. No, thank you. Well, there's like a tent community up there. Maybe one of them will have like a makeshift toilet. Okay, let's ask. <clears throat> Hello? 
What? Oh, hi. Do, do you have a bathroom that we could use? Oh, what? You think just because we're in a homeless camp, we just poop in our tents all the time? I, I don't know. We just don't know where else to turn. Well, you'd be right. Nelson down the line's got a poop tent. You guys are welcome to it. Seems like society is really crumbling out there. I can feel it. Least I can do is let you guys use our little area to do your business. Thank you so much. God bless. Hey, this shit's on me. Hey, wait, which one is Nelson's tent? Did somebody say they needed to poop in my tent? I did. Are you gay? When you live in the tent life, you're whatever people want you to be. Oh, God. Jesus. Just kidding. I'm a panhandler. I'm a gay one. Get in my tent. Take a poopy. <laughs> Great. Excellent. It's actually pretty nice, if you don't mind every single thing about it. Does anybody else need to go? Hey, Danny, since you don't need to go, do you want to take a walk with me? <sighs> Sometimes guys get weird if I'm taller than them, but to be honest with you, I like guys that are like 5'7". Is Tom Cruise's height? Yeah, I can't believe he left Scientology and became the political leader of that small island. When you fall in love with the Caribbean, he falls in love right back. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like I want to take you to Atlantis. You know that resort in the Bahamas? I know what Atlantis is, silly. Well, I didn't want you to think I meant the city under the water. Even if it was, I'd go down there and hold my breath with you if it meant that we can do this. You don't taste or smell at all like poop. How is that possible? That's my secret. What's the secret? We put baking powder on the poop, and it absorbs the scent, and it makes it more manageable. Wow, that makes, like, perfect sense. Listen, I gotta get back to the... Hey, before you go, I just want to tell you something. I heard your group was looking for, like, a big pot of money. What? Who said that? The first guy who went into the tent to go to the bathroom said it pretty clearly. He said, I'm glad I'm getting to poop so I can feel clean when I finally get that money we're looking for. Yeah, that's in character for him. But I just want to say, money isn't everything. I've been living like this for a year now. And you know what I realized life is? It's not money. It's not even success. It's relationships. The people that you share your life with, that's what matters. After all this living on my own out here, I've thought one thing. If my parents were still alive, I'd spend every day with them. Because love is all you ever really have before you die. So just be here and share the love that you have with those that you love the most. Yeah. I hear that. I hear that. Thanks. You guys done? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I guess it's time we're traveling on. You sure you don't want to come? I can't. I have to stay. But you come find me when you're done, okay? okay? I've got everything I need, but maybe not everything I want. See ya. Yeah. Let's get out of here, guys. Hey. Wait! I heard you guys are looking for something important. No, nothing important. Yeah, just normal stuff. I got a question for you. We're not taking any questions at this time. Fine. Just remember, I got eyes on the 405. We're uh, walking along the 10. I got eyes on that too. Do you have eyes on Olympic? Yes, sometimes. 
Okay. In peak hours. Are you wearing an ace bandage? I'm bound! I'm bound! Yeah! Oh. oh my god. What the hell? At least we nice. all pooped. Good afternoon. Gang, let's get some IDs out. Yeah, yeah, my man. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, like your new haircut, very good, very good. I think these are fantastic. I'm just gonna hand these back to you. There you go. And last one to you, miss. Do you like the picture on mine? What now? Do you like the picture on my ID? Uh, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the job, so I'm not gonna hit on you. I'm hitting on you. Fuck this. Well, then, in that case, um, I would have to say yes. Yes. I like your picture very much. You wanna go on a walk with me? You know what? Everyone here seems like uh, good citizens, outstanding people, so yeah, I could decommission myself for a little bit and go for a walk with you. Miss, uh... Potato. Potato. Oh, sorry. Astral. Madeline Astral. What'd you say potato for? Because you said it. Fuck yeah. Let's get out of here. Oh, baby, let's get down right over here. Fuck yeah. It's an ocean. Oh, All that's water. Baby, baby, I'm hot just like an All right, try this one. Voiceless it cries, wingless it flutters, toothless it bites, mouthless it mutters. What do you think, I'm an idiot? The answer is the wind. How about this one? I talk, but I do not speak my mind. I hear words, but I do not listen to thoughts. When I wake, all see me. When I sleep, all hear me. Many heads are on my shoulders, many hands are at my feet. The strongest steel cannot break my visage, but the softest whisper can destroy me. The quietest whimper can be heard. Oh God, honey, you don't think I know that one? The answer's a fucking actor. Please don't give me any more actor riddles. I have to be sensitive to my friends, and I think actor riddles are kind of mean. Okay, one more. This one's not so simple. It's supposed to be written by Einstein himself. Okay, lay it on me, and I mean it. There are five houses in five different colors. In each house lives a person with a different nationality. These five owners drink a certain type of beverage, smoke a certain type of cigar, and keep a certain type of pet. No owners have the same pet, smoke the same type of cigar, or drink the same type of beverage. So who owns the fish? The Brit lives in the Red House. The Swede keeps dogs as pets. The Dane drinks tea. The Greenhouse is on the left of the White House. The Greenhouse's owner drinks coffee. The person who smokes Pall Mall rears birds. The owner of the Yellow House smokes Dunhill. The man living in the center house drinks milk. The Norwegian lives in the first house. The man who smokes blends lives next to the one who keeps cats. The man who keeps horses lives next to the man who smokes Dunhill. The owner who smokes Blue Master drinks beer. The German smokes Prince. The Norwegian lives next to the Blue House. The man who smokes blend has a neighbor who drinks water. And that's it. Can you get that one? Shit. I have no fucking clue. Verton, you said you could solve any riddle. Where are you? Where's my sister? Probably under the kind of arrest I wouldn't mind being under. Oh, don't be crude. Oh, honey, it's the end of the world. We've got to have some fun. And who knows if there's going to even be gold down there? And even if there is, who knows if this can even be 
worth anything or have any kind of currency value. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> I'm choking. Do you care? Hey, can I just say, I like you guys. I'm having fun. Me too. Me too. Me too, Eddie. What a nice thing to say. I'm glad I came out here today and got away from the gas station. I mean, the beach is so nice. You never just go out to L.A. and just go to the beach. It's really, really nice. The beach has always been nice. We just never took the time to take it in. It gives us kind of a good excuse, huh? <laughs> nice. Amen, brother. Man. I really wish mom and dad were here. Are they both sis? Yeah, but... Sadly, they're also both sick. Yeah, I heard you guys talking about that. I'm so sorry to hear about the, the, what is it? Brain cancer for our mom. And lung cancer for our dad. Both mid-stage and fully curable with the treatment they invented since the internet went away. Can you believe how much medical progress has been made now that people aren't wasting their time on Facebook? I don't think Facebook was keeping us from curing cancer, but go on. With the amount of money you offered us from the honeypot, we only have enough to make one of our parents better. And that is if Burton is able to solve the riddle. I will! And beyond that, if medical systems ever even get back up and running again. Yeah. I just miss him so much. I'd give anything to spend Christmas with him. Me too, man. Okay, guys, listen up. If we get the gold, I'm gonna give you guys enough for both treatments. No way, really, man? Wow, yeah! Thank you so much, man. What are your dreams? I have so many. Uh, I want a big house, and uh, I currently live in a duplex in Encino. You drive all the way from Encino to come work here? Yes, ma'am. Someone's got to patrol this beach. You're my dream guy. I want to be with you. Well, I don't know what to say. I, I'm ready. I mean, I'm ready. I want to be with you, too. It's not that simple. Yes, it is. I, I'll get... I'll get promoted on the police force. I'll be a real city cop. No, no, I like that you're a beach cop. My group, uh, me and my group, uh, th those guys that I'm here with. Yeah, your group. We're on a journey. We're, we're traveling. And we have to find something very, very important. And I can't tell you, I can't tell you anything. Manuel, I can't say, I can't say what it is. It's all right. It sounds incredible, though. If I get there... And I find what I'm looking for. I'm gonna come back for you. I promise you right now. I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna make you my girl. Oh, Madeline, yes! 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 Wake up the dawn and ask her why the dream a dream. What do you say? You ready to Head out on the rest of our journey. Oh, Madeline. I was born ready. All right. Ah. <coughs> See you later. You guys be safe, okay? This is my husband. We will. All right. My future husband. Maybe nice we'll speech. see you again. I'm a fan. I like you. Me too. I'm not my boyfriend. Where do we turn? It's Winding Way, which is not for a while. Winding coffee. Oh, I could use a cold brew right now or soda. Or even just water, man. Yes, waters, waters. We need water. Oh, we can't. Our money's worthless. We can't buy anything. You guys like this hat? I found it on the beach. Yeah. It works for Are you. Are you going to keep it? No, I'm going to get rid of it later. Can't. Yeah. Well, well maybe we can, like, get it from a tap or something. Like, there's got to be a gas station around here somewhere. No, nope, there's no convenience stores or gas stations for six miles. I know L.A. and there's nothing. He's right. Shit. Well, okay, well, what if we, like, go knocking on... I, I think there are houses up there if we knock on some of their doors, maybe? Get provisions? No, no. Are, what, what are you, crazy? Okay? No one's that friendly. And to be honest, they're, they're just going to think we're a bunch of homeless people, all right? Or worse, looters. God, I miss hooters. Me too, brother. Me too. Looters. I said looters, not hooters. Yes, I, I know you said looters. I was just saying it made me think of hooters and and how much fun I had going there. That place is misogynistic. Well, it depends on why people are working there. I mean, you know, it can be very empowering if a woman is working there because she wants to express herself that way. Mm -hmm. It's her right. But I can't speak for these women, so Madeline? 
it's degrading if a woman is really working there for money and if, you know, the men who come in are disrespectful, but it can be really empowering if you are really comfortable in your sexuality and you want that to be a part of your work in life. Well said. Yeah. I mean, generally, I think the women from Hooters were, were uh, a little bit disrespectful. Like, well, I was never disrespectful when I was there. Yeah. Oh, that's good on yeah, you. That's... Good on you. Thank you. Good on you. What do you think about, like, prostitution or porn stars? I mean, it's the same thing, you know? If you're doing it for the right reasons, it's it's it can be empowering. Yeah. You know, the right reasons being like, I'm comfortable with my sexuality, I want to express right, it in my work, right, but it can yeah. be, you know, degrading if you're doing it for less than ideal reasons. Sure. Incredible. You know? I wish I had a sugar daddy. Okay, guys, enough. Okay, this is a very healthy, good debate. I'm into it, but we need some waters, okay? I've been walking for what seems like 15 miles. It's been 12 miles. <sighs> we need water. Okay, well, let's go knocking on one of these doors. Sure we don't need iced coffee? What about this place? Yeah, I think this is it. Hello? 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 Does anybody live here? Hello? Excuse me? Hi. <laughs> What's all this rackets going on? What is this? The cast of Happy Endings? What is this? The cast of The Goonies, but like a lot older and on coke? You guys know where the power's out? What? You guys know where the power's out? We do actually know why it's out. Um, we can talk to you about it. We were wondering if you have some water that we can drink. Yeah, that'll be 35 bucks. <laughs> Guys, I'm totally pulling your leg, bro. Yeah, come on in. I got tap water, I got uh, bottle water. I even have one of those jugs, which, spoiler alert, you gotta poke a hole to let the water come through. That's Otherwise, so cool, <laughs> you're so cool. I think you guys are cool. Can we come in? Yeah. Yeah! Come on in. Thank you. Great, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and just so you know, the place is kind of a mess because I had the maid come in yesterday and I ordered a bunch of takeout. I was gonna clean it up, but then I just, I just didn't. So, you know, you know that whole song and dance. <laughs> <laughs> so should we just sit? Yeah. Uh, the All right, you guys can sit anywhere except okay. over at this table. So can I get anybody waters? Oh. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Great, awesome. If we can help you too, if you want to give us some like cups, we can pour, you know, what the water. Oh, that's really helpful of you. That could be really great. Um, but I do just want to be like super transparent. I am bisexual, so I could potentially be attracted to you. Any of you. Yeah. That's fine. That's okay. That's healthy. Yeah. Are you the Hasbro child like the heir to the hasbro fortune yes all right waters 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 all right i'm gonna take a trip to the kitchen and i'm there all right oh actually i randomly have takeout are you guys hungry yes yes it's good mm -hmm. so i never got a chance to um ask you guys what happened with the power oh well oh well the the power's out on the entire electrical grid but it's going to be up uh in a couple hours days at most all right, I was kind of getting nervous that it's like the end of the world, you know what I'm saying? I was just like sitting in the dark and I kind of started making shadow puppets for a little bit just to kind of entertain myself, but then I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> I think your cat's eating a chip. Oh yeah, she does her thing, I let her do it. But sometimes she gets really sick and then I'm like, what you eating, girl? And she just looks at me and like, I don't know, sometimes I feel like she really harbors a lot of resentments against me. You know? That's great, Chris. That's, that's... I'm financially well off, you know? Oh, cool. So I don't feel totally comfortable telling the details of that, but um, I do all right, you know what I mean? That's good, Chris. Yeah, it's kind of good. I gotta say, are you like a therapist or something? Because you have all these great sayings, like, you know, active listening things, like, I hear you and I understand, and that's great, Chris. It's like... Yes, I am. Huh. Yes, I am. Sorry, that wasn't cool of me. <laughs> my mom and dad are dead. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. I'm so sorry, man. 
Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. Yeah, it's all been pretty good the way everything worked out. I honestly, I didn't know what to expect. And when they pass, you know, holidays are hard. Yeah. You know, Christmas and stuff. I'm really not looking forward to spending Christmas alone. But, you know, you got to look at the bright side. I have plenty of cash to get me through. I got this house. I got gold in the basement. No, hold on. You have gold? That's a saying. Oh. But uh, yes, I do have gold in the basement. Just part of uh, my parents' trust fund. Anyways, you know, it is what it is. And I'm looking forward. I'm going to do some great Christmas shopping for myself. Get myself a little gift, you know. We'd love to uh, hang out with you on Christmas, but... We got to really hit the road, right? Yeah, Aww, and sadly, really? you, yeah, and sadly you won't be able For to... For some reason, I got the vibe that you guys were going to spend the night or a couple of weeks or something, just kind of chill, catch your breath here. Oh, no, we, we can't. Can. We wish we could. Yeah. And then, ah. You can't. I think you're just... Just to warn you, I don't think you're going to be able to buy... Christmas presents for yourself because you can't buy or sell anything. All right the stores now. are closed. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably find. Excuse me. I'll probably find something to do then. Listen, Chris, do you have maybe some extra clothes I could borrow? Yeah, my mom had a closet full of stuff. It's mostly evening gowns because she was a, uh, involved in a lot of pageants. But um, I'm sure she wouldn't mind. I, obviously, she's passed. Um, yeah, just um, the, down the hall, there's a staircase, take a right, all the way down, first door on the left. Okay. Yeah. I actually have to go to the bathroom. Is that... Oh, just follow her. You'll see it on the right, yeah. Okay, great. Dude, what the f Dude, you got... Kill me. The parents were gonna kill me, and then he killed the fucking parents. What are you? What are you? What? Cooked my parents. Excuse, excuse me. What's that? I cooked my parents. We gotta get out of here. Hey, it's not what it is. Stop on the back. Seriously, you gonna do like that to me, dude? Oh my God. Mom? Where'd everybody go? Stay with me! Close that. Come on! I can't see. The turn is just up ahead! Stock markets have been artificially frozen as citizens struggle to find food and water in preparation for what seems to be inevitable chaos. All right, we can actually start slowing down now. We're only two miles away. We'll definitely get there by nightfall. Uh, I can't believe I dropped my glasses at that guy's house. You know, I, I should go back there and get no, it. No, no. You're gonna get eaten by a nerd? No. I can't believe we're gonna be there soon. I was starting to feel like this whole thing was made up. Oh, yeah. It's feeling realer now more than ever. I can feel it in my thighs. Here, here, here. here. What is that? You guys, when did you start chanting? It's organic, baby. Final path up here, guys. Oh, you know, this leads down into the canyon. Yeah, oh. listen, I just want to say, though, before anything happens, whatever happens, I've really enjoyed being your guide, and uh, I know I've only known you guys for a few hours, but I just I feel incredibly close to you. And uh, I love you guys. Yeah, we love you, too. Yeah, me, too. You guys are my rocks. Yeah. And if Facebook was still around, you know, I'd uh, definitely not unfollow you. I... I'd be, I'd be friends. I mean, we'd be yeah, friends yeah, on we'd Facebook. Be friends. Yeah, I'm just saying, I, I would not follow you. Okay, yeah. yeah I yeah. also follow you on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to get going so I can hook up with this gilf. Yeah, <laughs> it's our grandma. I'm just saying, when I see her, I hope she's hot. When I see her, I want her to be a smoke show. <laughs> Jim. You know what? You're right. But if she's related to you two, I know she's good people. Yeah. So, anyways, I love you guys. 
Like, we love you. No, I've hooked up with a MILF. I've hooked up. I just need to hook up with a GILF. But, you know, I can't really see two right now. So yeah, delete us. I'm just going to. Oh, my God. We love you guys. Hey, I just want to say. Hey. I'm really glad we get to spend Christmas Eve together. Yeah. Like, as family, you know? And uh, I hope we get to spend Christmas together. Honestly, tomorrow. Are we on The Bachelor right now? What, you think we're gonna die down there? I think we could, yeah. I mean, I think there's like a very a vibe down there of like there could be like a giant spider or like a... T-Rex. T-Rex or a pirate or... Oh my God, I just remembered Princess Bride. Oh, oh yeah. Princess Bride. That's a good movie. You have a painted backdrop right now. Oh, behind me? Yeah. Yeah, this is painted, yeah. Very uh, photorealistic. Yeah, depth, a lot of depth. We're gonna get to spend Christmas together, Christmas Eve, all of it. Because you know what? We're gonna go down there. There's gonna be nothing, okay? Dad's a nut job. There's not gonna be a grandma down there. We're just gonna be hiking around in the dark. You'll just have to bury me in the dirt to keep me warm. Because I'm gonna be freezing. I have no, no arm, uh, no uh, cold. All right, let's get down there. You know something to know? Dad has never lied to me. Let's go get that money. That's true. Shit. Last night, and this is the time of day when I usually have my first handcrafted apple teeny. At work? Gross. I won't tell if you won't tell. <laughs> Shouldn't Wait. be drinking at work, Burton. That's very bad. Yeah. Aren't you usually at? That's terrible. So I do what I want. <laughs> and there's nothing to go back to anyway. There's no job. OK? All we're going to do is get some gold, and who knows what we can even do with it. Probably just throw it against the wall. Oh. Touche. There. You came. Sure. Bless you, Jim. <gasps> Grandmother, our father sent us to you. He said you'd have some gold for us. I do. But you know, there is a question you must help me with first. A riddle? Yes, a riddle. Let me open my tent. She's gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, she's the hottest gilf I've ever seen in my life. I think it's just because you don't have your glasses on. Oh, I genuinely believe she is gorgeous. Am I to understand that you are the riddle solver? Yes, yes I am. Best riddle solver from the Pacific to the Atlantic. Tell me, Verton, <gasps> what is the answer to this question? A farmer is trying to cross the river. He has only a small boat. He has a fox, a hen, and a bag of corn. The tiny boat will only allow for one item to be carried across each trip. If he leaves the hen alone with the corn, the hen will eat the corn. If he leaves the fox alone with the hen, the fox will eat the hen. How does the farmer cross the river? Um, uh, you have 20 seconds, 20 minutes. Oh, God, I thought you said seconds. Oh, can I ask yeah. my friends for help? Be my guest, whatever it takes. As long as someone in the group delivers the correct answer, you will have your coveted gold. Mm -hmm. But be warned, you only have one chance. Get any part of the answer wrong, and you go away with nothing. And I go back to my life of peace, which I must say I quite enjoy. One shot? One shot? Nobody said anything about one shot. You got this, Burton. You're just focus. You got this. We can do this. You can do this. I'm scared. I am too. I have faith, buddy. Well, great for you. Guys, 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 keep focused. We can do this. We can do this. Let's start. But if he has the head, you can't take the corn because yeah, the hen is who we need to worry about here, okay? We need to get the hen off the boat. No, no, no. The fox and the corn are fine. The fox and the corn are fine. I think are fine. there's Except some the... kind of a loophole that you have to find because the whole thing's not doable. We without need to focus some... on the fox. No, focus on the fox, okay? That's the problem here. We need to focus on the fox. That's what's messing us okay. up. Okay, on no, the fox. It's the corn that's messing us up because if you don't have the corn, yeah. Look, you yeah. Okay, no, no, it's sad. Okay, no, no, no. Can I say one thing? We have to take multiple trips. Well, what are you agreeing on that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Multiple trips. Listen, listen, listen. Let's split up. We can't figure this out. Let's all split up. Okay. Just stick on our own. Wait, who goes with who? Just split up. So the hen wants to eat the corn, and the fox wants to eat the hen. 
river and the corn, and the river and the fox, and the fox and the corn, and the chicken and the corn. And the corn doesn't want to eat anybody, so the corn has to be our owl. And the chicken and the corn, and the fox and the corn. Cock to the chicken, and the chicken to the cock. I got it! We have your answer. <laughs> Present it. The farmer takes the chicken first and leaves her on the other bank. <laughs> yes! Then he comes back, puts the fox on the boat, and takes him across the river. However, when he gets to the opposite bank, he drops the fox off there, but picks the chicken back up <laughs> and brings her back to the original bank. The hen, but yes. It's chicken. She's referred to as the hen. The hen. He puts the hen on the original shore and picks up the corn, then travels across the river and drops the corn off with the fox. <laughs> then, of course, he goes back, gets the chicken, and brings it to the other side. Go on, you're close. So that everyone is all there. You're so happy close. Happy together. Oh, you're so close. And nobody got eaten. <gasps> that is correct! Yeah! 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 I knew you would do it, buddy. We oh. believed in you. I never doubted. We oh doubted you. All right, grandmother, what do we get? Now, once and for all, the gold will be given to you. In the morning. Oh, oh God. God. And tonight, you have to listen to my stories. Oh. Oh. You should have seen me when I was 30. Gorgeous. <laughs> but where was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So fax machines had just come out. And I was so in love with your grandfather that I sent him a fax of a picture of myself on the machine that I had installed in the house myself. I was always the more tech savvy of the two of us. The picture printed out the fax at home. I was just wrapping up my work hours, and I knew he was home alone. And he screamed, mm. or so he tells me later. <laughs> you see, he had no idea this thing that I had installed in the house. He didn't know what it was. It printed out a picture of me and dropped it on the floor. Uh. And he thought a ghost was trying to take me to the other side. <laughs> you should have seen it. He shit himself. Why'd you two split up? Oh, I don't know. Differences. I wanted to live in nature and hoard all the gold. He wanted to live in the city and spend freely and trust all the banks. Mm. I guess we see which of us had the right idea after all. Oh, but it's so sad, you know? He's passed away now. I was sort of getting that vibe. And in retrospect, all the fraction, all the fighting just sort of fades away and you're left with love. That's the other word for it is um, a feeling of family. That special closeness that you get when um, you know you're not alone anymore. Mm you have someone who cares if you live or die or if you win they're with you here in this life you know <sighs> what about the rest of you there must be a special man or woman in your lives? I have a girlfriend, but uh, I think she hates me. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. Why? The syphilis? <laughs> what is it? You're a good gilf. 
Thank you. <laughs> Gilf the Grey. <laughs> Watch out, I don't bang you tonight. <laughs> Sorry, that was too much. That was offside. Yeah. All I'm saying is, don't go for a naked walk to the ocean. <laughs> I may follow you. <laughs> yeah, I got a girlfriend. What about you, Verdon? Yes, she loves me. How about you, Taylor? Eddie? We're both single. Yeah, girls don't really dig gas station attendants. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. I'm, you just have to put yourself out there. Okay, I will. What about my lovely grandchildren? I don't. Ha I don't have a boyfriend. Right mm -hmm. now. But there is someone. If I'm lucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, Madeline. Yeah. Yeah. I have my eye on someone. Well, I'm tired. I'm gonna call it a night. I'll see you in the morning, Grandma. I'll spread all these blankets out for all of you to sleep in. Thank you. Yes. Make yourselves we'll see them. at home. Can I sleep outside your house? Yes, you may. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> or the mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, the mosquitoes. Let's turn all the lights off in a second, you guys. <clears throat> okay. I'll turn this off? Yeah, I'll do it. All right, buddy. You doing that one? I'm gonna go glamping. <laughs> You're lucky. One by one. <laughs> Little life. <laughs> Go out. Good night, Grandma. Nighty night. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Night. Good night. Love you guys. Good morning. <sighs> Now's where it gets good. Good morning. You've passed step one of the test. What? What? Test? Settle, settle. Hey, you can hear us? Yes, of course I can hear you. These TVs are actually telescreens. What the heck is a telescreen? It's a TV to TV communication system that doesn't require use of the internet. It's like a phone with video. Sounds a lot like the internet to me. The internet's illegal. It's not the internet. That's the whole point. Okay. You've passed step one of the test, and there is only one more part, but you will have to proceed to my location to hear the rest. To anyone expecting to get gold this morning, I am sorry. Well, at least we had each other. I like being with each other, too, but I want my money. I didn't truck all the way through Culver City to end up in a canyon with, with some attractive older woman and no gold. You're not even really our grandma. You're just a beautiful woman who lives in a canyon who's up to no good. It's like a bad episode of Happy Endings. What's the second location? Grandmother has that information for you. I will see you there. Do we have to solve another riddle to get to the second location? No, actually, I can just tell you. You go back down the canyon from where you came, make a right on Pacific Coast Highway. Make another right, go up the hill, and go to the small garden behind the house. And there, you will get your prize. Somebody has been shitting in this canyon. I guess the rain's down in Africa. We're gonna take some time to do the things we never did. What is this dumb? Looks like the Garden of Eden. That's Eric Interstar, the news anchor. Hello. Welcome to the end of the line. This is Jesus, and mm. I'm God. Hey, isn't that that, uh... What? Isn't that that creepy homeless guy? Hello. Who's hmm. trying to warn us? <laughs> Yay. It is. Team, I'd like to congratulate you on your incredible accomplishments. As I said, this is Jesus, and I'm God. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> That's right. You That's be right. Response? You guys That's... are white? Well, uh, today I am. Usually I look like Erica Badu. Oh. Oh. Any you ever Asian? Can we flip to Erica Badu? Can you flip? No, it doesn't work like that. Oh. oh. I can you flip to Alanis Morissette? Yeah. Ooh. But Lauren Hill. Connie Chung? Oh, I can do okay, Connie we'll Chung. We'll take it. We'll take okay, it. We'll take it. We'll take you can it. do this, yeah. This is yeah? good. Okay. Um... That's right. This has all been a test. Whoa! 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 This is crazy! I knew nothing made sense. It was all crazy. I knew this was some bullshit! 
<laughs> Bullshit, what are you talking about? This is more real than we ever expected. Yeah, what's the deal, God? Do we get the gold or what? You do. You get the gold. You get everything your heart desires. If you answer the next question correctly. Oh, oh my God. God. This is bullshit. Here it is. You know what? I'm done. Too many layers. Here it is. What is this, Chuck? What is the true meaning of Christmas? Whoa! You're gonna, gonna ask, ask that, that with Jesus sitting right here? What is the meaning of Christmas? Where are you pointing? Up to heaven. Oh, I oh, thought you were pointing oh, to heaven. I'm pointing yeah. home. I mean, Do we have a clue? You can have one clue. It's something you've already learned along the way. Mm. So learned a lot. And if you answer it correctly, you get everything your heart desires. The power comes back on for the city and the country, but if you don't, everyone dies. What? 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 Well, wait, 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 wait. Slowly, slowly, over time, because without the power on, the world kind of descends into general chaos. And... Hey, why, dude? <sighs> because this is something you should have learned already. Okay, I send you people down here to Earth, and you have one lesson to learn, one. And if you haven't learned it by the time you're 30, it just makes me be like, oh God, what am I doing wrong? And it's like, it just makes me be like, oh God, what am I doing wrong? As a parent, you know, of humanity. And I don't like to think about that because then it makes me reflect on the fact that I haven't gotten this all right yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? As a parent. That's it. As a parent, our parents, our grandmother, family. Is it, it's what grandma was saying by the fire last night. It's the feeling that you can get from other people that lets you know you're not alone in this world. It's the feeling a family. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! 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 Congratulations. Yes! 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 Congratulations. So you can all have whatever you want, but please, please tell Danny, let him tell me. I can't deal with like a whole bunch of different voices at once. Okay, okay, oh, okay yeah. cool. Mm. That makes um, sense. Well, it's weird because I felt like I just coming here like I would just want the gold, but... Well, say the gold and whatever else you want. He's telling you you can have as many things as you want. Oh. You should get a Mazda 3, okay? Oh. Okay, a Mazda, a Mazda 3. A Mazda 3, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, a Mazda 3. It's, it's a great car, okay? I work at a gas station. I see a lot of cars. You can have anything you want in the world. You can have a, 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 a nicer car than that. You can have a name brand car. A name a Mazda is a name it's brand a name car. Brand, it gets you yeah. from point A to point B. And these, you know, so-called great cars are breaking down left and right. He's right. Fine, I want a Tesla, I want a Tesla. Okay, a tes and a Tesla. Uh, Teslas are super backed up, but what I can do is I can give you the money for a down payment on a Tesla. Just a down payment? Mm, I'll give you all the money for a no! Tesla. Yeah! Okay, Mazda 3, the money for a Tesla, what else? Oh, can I get a Hyundai Ionic? It's a very rare car from 2018. They only made 200 of them in California. A Hyundai Ionic from 2018. Yeah, that's easy, we have a lot of those. Okay, what else, Madeline? Um, I don't, um, like, maybe maybe a, ha a house, like in Echo Park or Los Feliz. Oh, 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 the houses that are like up on Vermont that are near Griffith Park, those like big houses, but they're not too high up on the hill. Great you know choice. Those? Do I know them? I love them. Okay, great. One of the, so, so one of the houses up on Vermont. Sorry, we're trying to do everything through me. Taylor? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, sorry. Uh, Mazda, uh, oh, another Mazda, Mazda 3. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys want your parents? Oh, yes. oh yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, we yeah, just yeah, remembered. Yeah, their parents are yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you heal their parents? Already done it. Wow! 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 wow. wow. Okay, okay. What else? What else, you guys? The gold. The gold. gold. Yep. The gold. I think that might be it. Oh, you know what? I, I, you know what? I want the I got I want the Ionic, and you know I'd like a really healthy career and also just overall good health. Yeah. Okay, a healthy career and overall good health for uh, um, oh, for I, Jim. I want that. I would want that. And uh, for Madeline as well. Can you do that for everyone? Yeah. Oh, sure. You yeah, can yeah, do yeah, a yeah, round yeah. of it. Yeah. Well, okay, just all around. I, I I want that health stuff, and I also want a career. I want a gay career. What does that mean? It means it, it means a gay career. He knows. He gets Danny, it. Danny, I get it. Okay, great. Um, Jim, you want your sight? Oh yeah, you want glasses? Oh yeah, my glasses. Can he have the same glasses that he had before? Look in your cup holder of your new Ionic. Oh, no! Yeah. 
okay, incredible. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I guess I just, I'm having this feeling that all this stuff sounds nice and I'm glad you're gonna give it to us, but I don't know if I can ask for this. I, I really feel like all I want, like really, like all I really care about is getting to spend Christmas with my mom and dad. I wanna see my mom and my dad. So yeah, if you could do that, that would be the biggest thing of all. And that completes our order. Every day. the final test. The final test? Yeah. The test you didn't know you were taking. The test on whether you know the true spirit of Christmas. Which is? Which is whether, whether you want we to want to spend, spend it with Christmas you guys. Yeah, exactly. We do. Yeah. Oh, we do. We do. We do. Oh, man. Guys, we, we take you for granted. And we're not going to do that anymore. Not again. Mm. We promise. You guys want to spend Christmas with us? We can you wrap some presents last minute? Oh, uh, well, with all this, I bet you can do that. <laughs> Madeline and Danny, we would love to. Oh. Mm, we do. Wait, I just got a quick question. Are there, like, levels to this? Like, I know he's Jesus, and you're supposed to be God. I am. Right, but do you have any form of identification? I don't need any. I'm kind of in charge of everything that paperwork is. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that checks out. Yeah, that makes sense. And, and you guys, you guys are, like, some form of magic? Or, or our family is a sacred family, but our children never knew that. For hundreds of generations, the children of our family, which included me at one point, and of course my mother before me, must pass three tests at the time they turn 30. What happens if you don't pass the test? They die. What? <laughs> we would have died? Whoa, that's high stakes. <laughs> it sure was, and we were very afraid. But I have faith. Being a parent, to me, is just about knowing that your little ones are going to be okay no matter what the circumstances, especially you two. Now, you both have had very strong spirits since I gave birth to you. I always knew this test was coming, but I always knew that you would pass it. I was a little less sure. Yay! Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> what a shrimp. Shot to the da. <laughs> Shot to the da. We should write a book. We should write a book called The Sacred Family. Yeah. No one would believe us. But we have the money to do that. You know what I mean? So that hot woman in the canyon, that's your mother? Yeah, yeah. She's a hermit, but she's a non-binary hermit. And she goes by the pronoun she. And she is your grandmother. Whoa. She just didn't want to see you until you were 30. Oh. Seems odd. Weird. And you guys had this deal with God. It's like a, it's just like a blessed thing. It's like a sacred thing. It's been this way for thousands and thousands of years. You guys are going to have a truly blessed life and you're going to have everything you could ever want. What about all of us? All of you as well. Any friends that the sacred family brings along get looped in. Will we play the game when our children turn 30? No, only Danny and Madeline do that. But you're all welcome to start your own game if you like, if, if that feels right. But we're not going to have you to turn the whole city's power out and you know, those TV screens. It was really fun. You know I'll give you the number to my landline before you go. You can give me a call anytime you want. My number never changes. We can always set up a game for your kids, you know, like a laser thing or something. Or we could turn the internet back on. Oh, yeah, hey, what's going on with that whole internet thing? Is it really down or when we wake up, is it going to be back on again? The internet is really gone. It died for our sins. That was Jesus's little creation, actually. Yay! Elegant. Does that answer all your questions? Okay, well, I guess I've just got one more question for all you guys. What is it? Who wants to spend Christmas in my house tonight? <laughs> Um, I took a shower at the YMCA. Oh, you could have taken one here. No, yeah, it's, um, it's fine. It's, I got you a ball of hair. 
Wow, this is so cool. Yeah. I'm so glad you didn't wrap it. I always think wrapping is so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I collected it from um, all the other residents at the, at the tent camp. It's got so. a little ponytail, that's so beautiful. She's stylish. Yeah. Wow, it's all uh, percent human. <laughs> um, can I kiss you? Yeah. I, uh, uh, I brought you something. Oh, beach stuff. Yeah, it just washes up. I thought we remember <sighs> our time. To see. Yeah. You remember the beach? Yeah, it's, uh... It was yesterday. Yeah. I'm so glad you came. I really appreciate it. Oh, of course, Madeline. Can I kiss you? Yeah, yeah, you can kiss me. reaction <clears throat> okay <clears throat> listen up listen up I, I just want to say a few things um <clears throat> as someone who has uh one parent in ireland and the other parent and the rest of my siblings in china it means the world to me that i get to spend today in a new way almost in a, in a better way with my new family and I'm not just saying that because of the Hyundai Ionic. <laughs> I love that car. Thanks, God. 135 miles per charge. How do they get 135 miles out of a charge? And I'm sure everyone's happy with their gifts and these glasses. Thank you for these back. It's nice to see again. <laughs> but um, really, seriously, guys, um, Danny, Madeline, everyone here, thank you for this experience that has... Um, has really been the ride of my life. You know, these last couple days, if I'm gonna be honest, it was just about the money for me going on this thing. Jim, you're good with money, but you got a lot of other stuff to work through. <laughs> economics, economics. <laughs> but the one thing that this has made me realize, it's what my soul was kind of thinking this whole time, is that I really do love that car. They discontinued it in 2019, but thank you. It's a collector now. It's worth 85,000. But what I remember now, something my soul always felt that this life believe it or not is about people and the people you know chosen or not that matter the most are family you guys are my family and i love you all it's about family I just want to be with my family. Oh, come on, Eric and your star. That's supposed to make it rain. Go! Oh. 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 But anyway, all jokes aside, it really is about family. Here, here. Mm -hmm.